Can You're I have sitting some on things? my bladder. It's okay. <laughs> I am. I'm like a big old whale. Whale, yeah. I don't know what Panther is doing, but this is ridiculous. We do have news. And what are the news are? The Smunchkin and I are going to have a baby. Finally, after three and a half years of infertility. And it wasn't him, we'll be honest. He's all good. He's been checked out. It was me. I had a problem that my body does not produce progesterone. Not enough to uh, keep a pregnancy or allow the baby to grow or do anything. So I am on a lot of progesterone when we are going to have a baby. And when? September, September 3rd. 3rd. So two weeks before Ryan's birthday. My friends, as you guys saw our little announcement that we are expecting. After three and a half years of fighting with infertility, we finally did it. After four losses, we finally did it. I do not want to call this baby a rainbow baby. Each pregnancy had its own um, journey and its own lesson. And um, everything happens for a reason. And it only made us stronger to be able to receive this beautiful pregnancy and this beautiful baby into this world. I'm thinking we're going to be a wonderful parent. Ryan is going to be an amazing dad. He might not seem on camera like that, but he's so loving and so kind. He's just really nervous and really excited, overwhelmed. Um, on November 25th, my cycle had started and uh, I went back to my fertility clinic for the for, for the third time or fourth time this year 2016 the past year 2016 and um, I was exhausted and I had I literally I've lost faith at this point because a month before that I had miscarried anyways I came in and uh, my mom was over here actually visiting we went together and the doctor said I'm gonna try you on a new medication and we'll see how it works. The problem is that my body does not produce any progesterone. That's one. Two, my body does not has the HL hormone, which is the hormone that releases your egg, your follicle. So I do ovulate, but it does not release the follicle, which is strange. It does not happen. It, it's not there. It doesn't exist. I do not have PCOS. But I do have two hormones that are missing, which is the HL hormone that releases the egg. It's the release. It's not ovulation. It releases. It, my body does not release the egg. And by the time it does, it's old and it's not good. And it's really bad and unhealthy. And then another thing, if it does release, my body does not produce any progesterone to keep the pregnancy. So that was the problem. And another thing, I do have a negative blood type, an RHA negative. Anyhow, short story, they put me a new medication called Letrozole. I did that for five days after that. On December 5th, I came over to the doctor's office and did the ultrasound and um, everything was kind of getting ready. I had two starting follicles that looked good which I was ovulating my own, but they just wanted to make sure. So, letrozole basically had worked. They told me to come back on the 9th, which is Friday, December 2016. I did, and then they told me that my body is not releasing, which is the HL hormone that releases your eggs or your follicles. And it would not release. It would not release. So they gave me the medication by the name Overdrawal. That's what I had and I had to inject it. And there is no way I'm going to inject a needle in this vein. So, and I had to do it at, at the specific time, 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Because it would release the follicles. I had two follicles. 
it would release two follicles within 36 hours so basically by Sunday um, by the 12th of December anyways with that said we did not do the um, IVF and we did not do IUI we decided to try it naturally because uh, Ryan does not have any problems I do so we just decided to do it like that and save five thousand dollars out of our pockets and um, and then it was a weight gain I couldn't take any tests or anything like that until December 25th which was Christmas Day I believe Christmas Day Hanukkah Day it was a second day of Hanukkah and it was a first day of Christmas I believe yes so I took a test <laughs> that was a really painful dreadful wait I took a test and um, here's the result yep. two bright lines can you guys see it I'm showing it to you off of my cell phone well that was it I um, messaged my mom me and Ryan were completely in awe because it was the most amazing Hanukkah slash Christmas present we could have ever asked for and um, we were kind of apprehensive because we've been there before with the test being positive but <laughs> it's not sticking or not doing anything so we waited I called the doctor's office right away even though it's Christmas they do have the nurses on call and doctors on call and um, we went in on Monday well I went in on Monday they did the blood test and then that same afternoon they called me and they told me that we are indeed pregnant and my blood levels of HCG was of 190 which was really high <laughs> and I was um, waiting to go to do my ultrasound on the following Tuesday so I had to wait till I was four weeks I found out when I was three weeks I came in and um, we definitely had the ultrasound and we had a little blob and um, the blob was you know what was the beginning of the baby and I was measuring at basically four weeks and one day so we had conceived on December 12, 2016. Anyways, we are at nine weeks and two days. As of right now, I'm released from the fertility and I found a video when we just for the first time went to the fertility clinic, which was October of 2014. Yeah. October 2014 I hope you guys enjoy it and then the video after that is me graduating the fertility clinic we are definitely have you guys on this journey I can't wait and um, you know what that's it I don't know what else to say everything else is in God's hands that's all I know we're blessed right now and I am super happy. We're here, you guys. We're at the fertility clinic. Okay, good. Here I'm so are. excited. Child. I don't know what's gonna happen. Child, I'm late for work. <laughs> because of you. You're not even born yet, and you've already caused me to be late for work. Well, hopefully, when you're here and you arrive, daddy will be home every single day when he works for himself. I'm very disappointed in your son. Well, how about if it's a daughter? What a know. Please. A daughter. Right. <laughs> what? Be, be realistic. What? Take this off. This is no. no sunglasses, no hats in here. Why? Because. Why? Yeah. I didn't see that rule. <laughs> I like to break I, I didn't see it posted. Anyways, we're here. We're waiting to go in and uh, we will be able to walk in there. My friends, I am at the doctor's office where it all began fertility clinic. I'm really emotional because I'm pregnant and uh, we are expecting. And this is my last appointment here. 
I'm not allowed to film while there's an ultrasound, but I am graduating because I just entered nine and a half weeks, I believe. So we'll see what happens. I'm sitting in front of my fertility clinic and I'm really emotional because this is my last day here, which is a good thing because we're finally pregnant. Ryan is not with me because he is working. My original appointment was for tomorrow, but I um, had to come in today. So I got some goodies for the office and the doctor. So I got some little cupcakes like that, some candy with liqueur, and um, that's about it. I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm not allowed to film in there, but um, after this, I'm gonna go home and uh, that's it. And here's a little nugget, you guys. It's getting bigger. And the baby was kicking today, and uh, I didn't feel the kicking, but I could see it. You could see it right there. See it? Yeah. So, my mom is really happy, my family, I text messaged them, Ryan, of course, was upset that he wasn't here, but he had to go work. So, I'm going to go say bye to the doctor and to the doctor's office, and um, I thank them. I thank RMA of Philadelphia. If you're in the East Coast region in the Philadelphia, PA area, New Jersey, or New York, I highly recommend Dr. Friedman and I will link the website down below. I thank them so much. It's been three and a half years in the making and it's been really difficult. And we're finally here, so I can't even believe it. So I'm really, really happy. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop crying. I'm gonna go. My friends, I hope that you guys enjoyed the old videos and the new video where I graduated. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog of the fertility journey. Sorry, it's not like all fancy and stuff like that. This is our story and uh, we want to make sure that you guys are part of it. I want to build a community and let anybody and everybody know, no matter how long you struggle, there's always someone there with you. And uh, I had a lot of friends on Facebook that are not even my friends, but the communities. Community on YouTube and community on Twitter. I want to thank every single one of you. And starting tomorrow, you guys are going to see us every single day. We will see this journey and we'll see what it takes us. Alright my friends, I want to say good night. I want to thank you. And if you like this little fertility vlog, thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what had happened to you. And if you have any questions, please ask them because we'll be answering Q&A. We're going to be answering questions every single vlog day. <laughs> so if there's a question, we'll ask them. Thank you so much. Good night. And we'll love you. Bye, you guys.